Alright, so I'm back. What should I call this one? Call this one the... I'm actually call this one the... Poison Fish Greed. I thought about calling it the Poisson Fish Greed. But no, I'll call it the Poison Fish Greed. Yeah, so pretty strong ship here, though. Um, venting layout could be a little better, but it's actually still pretty good. It's kind of hard to actually vent out the um, weapons room is a big problem here. And it's also hard to actually hit the ship, which is kind of bad for me. Yeah, so you only really actually have vents in the back of the ship, though, which is kind of bad. They're really not liking my um, rooms over here, are they? I do have slug repair gel, so that's kind of nice, but yeah, that's still not great for me. Yeah, so you have a pretty bad starting weapon here, but everything else about this ship is actually pretty strong, though. So he'll be actually be leaving that room and going up to the um, weapons room. Let him in there, so yes, actually he's staying still, and shoot him down. Yeah, the force nearby sun right away is kind of bad, but this is okay. Yeah, so you do start with two systems, though, which, um, they're both actually good systems to start with as well, so that's, um, that's pretty strong, though. Yeah, you can oftentimes get crew kills with these systems without too much trouble. And the fact that your starting weapon isn't that great doesn't really matter too much most of the time, so you can hack the enemy weapons and still preempt that. Though if you keep missing your first shot like this, it's not good. I need to actually land my shots here. I need my hacking stuff getting taken down. And my weapons also. I need my weapons and hacking to stop going down all the time. I really need to not lose shields. And weapons. I need to not lose shields and weapons all the time like this. Stop doing that. Stop doing that! Just... This is going terribly. I should not be having such a hard time with the ship. It's just that I keep getting shot in my weapons, and because my weapons are slow, I don't get that many shots against them. Are you kidding me? They actually used all of their missiles before I, could, before I could actually shoot them twice. I have really been having very, very bad luck recently. Like, I have occasional okay runs, just... Even those runs have not actually been, like, feeling super, super great, though. Yeah, and they have a drone's proper, too. This, this, this fight was just so dumb. That all just snowballed from missing the first shot, though. If I had hit the first shot, I would not, I would not take no damage on this fight. And they have a piling buffer also. Because of course they do. Okay, next shot will kill them.
store there, which I could hit and sell the um, bug repair gel in. I'm not going to right now, though. Okay, dangerous weapons down. again. Okay, so that's maybe okay now. I need my control back up, though. Yeah, um, dual laser, flak, and pike beam is completely fine for weapon setup. So, like, that's... I'm not really that surprised you were pretty comfy at the end of that. It's just... Yeah, sometimes dual lasers does feel like it misses just, just all the time. Human's dead. He's a two-hit kill now. He'll probably be able to break through there, though. And it's level 2 as well. Crap. Yeah, no bio kill this time. Crap. I thought it was going to be level 1. 6 fuel, 20 scrap. Okay, so I can get shields up now. When was the last time I ran a flak 2? Um, a couple weeks ago. At least briefly. It's not something I do very often since it's not a great weapon. You got a fire in there, which isn't very helpful to the rock. That resist there is useful. Alright, that should actually kill the human. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that the missile will come back up first here, so um, I'm not very fond of that. Actually, hoping the fire spreads the shield room here and just kills that. Okay, the fire is actually out. I think he'll actually try repairing the auction room pretty soon, though. Yep, yeah, thought so. There's actually probably no auction inside the auction room, though. I'm assuming the fire spread into there at some point. I don't actually know that for sure. Definitely got a fire in there that time. Okay, he's dead. Stress beacons and store. I'm gonna save my scrap for the store, I think. I do want to get some power, but yeah, I think I just save my scrap for the store.
Good to shift mine, seven scrap and four damage. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Okay, so sell the sub repair gel, buy the long range scanners, and buy repairs. Now I am no longer almost dead. They've got a missile again, which I really don't like, but um, I can't really do too much with that right now. And I missed. Okay, they didn't hit my weapons with that this time, so it's fine. They didn't actually hit me at all. I also didn't hit them at all. Finally. I need to hit the shield so I can actually make them fight each other. That'll actually maybe kill the Mantis. Nope, didn't kill the Mantis, not quite. I thought he'd actually go. To, I thought that he'd actually go to help repair the um, shields if I did that, or to repair the um, engines if I did that. Okay, so the mind control guy is actually within kill range. As long as you don't actually hit, um, land any straight shots and don't actually damage him. Make sure that he is actually where um, I know he is. Alright, so anyway, power bars. Not properly equipped for that. I can't take damage on this fight. The weapons hack is annoying, but I should be able to deal with this thing. I just gotta shoot this guy occasionally. Nice fire. It's actually hurting the Mantis quite a bit. Yeah, good fight. So another power bar and I should be good now. Yeah, so decent sector one, even though I did take a lot of damage. I'll take that trade. Abandoned sector two isn't too bad. Um, it can be hard to get bio kills in here though, because I can't necessarily suffocate everyone to death. Should still be good though. I can't take damage on this fight again. So this should be fine. The clone may make things slightly harder than usual though. I, they should have still have plenty of hold left, though. I'll have to use mind control several times to actually kill guys here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Level 2 clone bay. Dang. I wish my, um, clone bay was actually chained more, charged more now. Okay, they did get off in time. I thought it wouldn't. Nice Scrap and Walker. Nice. I don't know where he came from. It'll forever be a mystery. But, um, Walker was on that ship. Somewhere. Two damage missile. That's unfortunate. Two more hits on one, and one more hit on the other one, they die. Alright, so let him repair that once. But mine control him while it's actually down all the way, he'll just run out of there, and they won't actually fight each other. 19 scrap and 5 fuel. Nice. And the Shiver Life Forms, they have missiles again. It's only a one damage missile this time, though, which makes things a little easier for me. Fire is kind of nice there. It's hurting them more, at least. Not too much more, though. Okay, kind of bad miss there. If I control this guy now, he'll have to actually run out there. Then they should actually fight each other. Alright, 12 scrap. I still don't really actually have enough scrap for this store. Recommend in recharge booster, 20 scrap. The recharge booster is something I just sell. I got the burst litter down. That's pretty important. Unfortunately, Lenius is in a room where I can't actually have more than just one person fight him. I'm actually happy that the Elenius did some damage to the human, too. Because the Angie was not going to be able to deal enough damage to him. Yeah, this should be fine now. One more shot and the last guy dies. I guess they both died there. This is a guaranteed fight with Lenny's ship, whereas that's just a guaranteed event. I'm going to actually take this one here. 
I also get actually get potentially um eight points of free repair from this. The energy ship batteries actually killed the one guy. I think one more hit kills this guy too. But we can get that before he actually does this there. When he's scrap in, okay, no free repairs from that. Hack the vessel. Bad weapons this time, I have to actually hack the um black. You know, with the mind control hack, I can't actually really kill these guys anymore. Yeah, the edge of, edge of batteries killing that guy could have actually been better problem for me. Yeah, it could have been a problem for me there. Fortunately, they had just enough hold after that. Level 2 hacking. I don't think I can actually kill these guys because of that. Fifteen scrap and the nine. I'm still hoping to see another store over here. I'm going to actually get a weapons buffer here. Yeah, I'd like to see another store, but I don't think we're going to. I'd like another weapon. So I can take damage on this fight, though I won't from the first volley. There's more than two seconds between this thing firing and that thing second shot firing. Sixteen scrap into the fourteen. Nice. But I don't see um if I don't see a store on the first open back sector though, I have to actually get the um hacking up. And that isn't really that expensive though. It's very doable. But I need actually the ability to beat two shield shifts um in sector three. Four fire beams, most of them would probably get sold. At least two of them, probably three. No, if I get a fire beam, I'd actually keep and run it. It actually works pretty well. And it's a fun weapon to run, too. Three fire beams and a fire bomb. One of the fire beams, at least, and the fire bomb would definitely get sold. Probably two of the fire beams. They're running pretty low in air already. It's almost like they're pretending to be a Lenny ship right now. Or a firebomb is an explosive replicator, all those things would probably get sold. There's a store up there, which um, I think I'm actually almost due to take. Do I take that? I don't think I actually do. I think it's a dive. But I could take exit, store, then exit again. I think I'll actually do that. 
If it's not a dive, like if it's not a dive already, I'll actually regret this. But um, yeah, I think I take this now. They have a med bay, but are otherwise harmless here. Yeah, I'm kind of just sitting around while I wait for that guy to almost repair that. But then I just mind control him. He runs out of there. They fight a little bit. Then just, um, I think the other guy will actually be able to um, repair the system, though. But I will actually have to shoot it down again eventually. Yeah, they are definitely going to be pretty low in air here. Just they, they just suffocate to death eventually. Yeah, if there's no weapons in the store and there's no store right away next sector, though, um, I'll just be getting hacking up, though. Bill mm -hmm. Civilian Supplies, 17 Scrap. Yeah, so if I had just taken the store, it would have been a dive already, so that's actually good. First litter 1 and auto litter here. I actually have a recharge booster. I'm going to keep that. I forgot about that thing. Why didn't they try for the med bay? Because there's no option in there. Yeah, several versions ago, um, there was actually, um, like, different behavior. I'm not really sure if it was a bug or not, or anything like that, but, um, the behavior was changed so that they'd actually, um, not run to a med bay if there's actually no option in there. Uh, can I actually take Madison Control this time? I think it'll be easier for me to get, um, suffocation kills in here than to get, um, mind control kills with, um, Abandon Center. Yeah, so um, in older versions, the, um, the behavior was actually such that they would actually run to med bay if they were low on health, no matter what. But um, they changed that so that they actually would only actually run to med bay if they actually, um, or they wouldn't run to med bay if there was actually um, no oxygen in there. I'm going to take this trade, though the drone part costs us a little bit. I'm hoping I actually get some scrap here. Take the fugitive and take damage. Crap. You know, my auction's hacked. This is bad. Yeah, I'm not actually the biggest um, fan of this fight right now. That guy should have enough health left for me to just actually shoot to death, eventually. And now he's on fire, which makes things very simple. Yeah, it's not as bad with level 1 hacking as it, was, as it could have been there. I was worried it was higher level than that, though. I was also pretty low on option at the start of the fight, too, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, they aren't really that effective at using it here. 32 scraps, so we can buy some repairs and drone parts here. So I can sell the recharge booster now. I do actually probably want to get hacking up, though. The fire is nice, the missile is not. I probably end up just destroying the ship. The engines being on fire also actually limits how much I can actually shoot them now. And the shields are also on fire. Crap, I hadn't realized that. Yeah, I don't think they survived us. Yeah, they just don't live long enough to die there. Also, kind of bad set really out here. I guess I could go across up top. I think I'd actually rather go down the bottom now. I could have gotten hacking up there. Whoops. I'm not going to risk activating it here. I really don't like that big missile ship. Does it connect to the exit from the cluster below? I guess I assume so, but it might not. Probably wise to check. Before I get too far into this. Alright, so that guy, that guy should die in the fire. Yeah, it does connect. Anyway, that should be fine. Nice, got a fire again. All right, so that guy's going to die as he goes through there. Thirteen's graph and Zenzen. That's not bad. It's one ship. Missiles. Lots of dangerous weapons in here. Crap, let the thing fire. It's actually bad for me. Thank you. 
I was going to actually snipe that man before he could get out of there again. I think I manage. Oh, the NG of this guy should die, so that should be good. Now he's going to die too. Actually, he might not. I need the fire to actually spread to the, um, well, into the piling room, I think. Or I need the auction to go down, one of the two. If there gets me enough oxygen inside the weapons room, though, um, he should actually run into the weapons room to actually, or try to run into the weapons room to try to repair that. Okay, he's gonna die in the fire now. We want scrap and nothing else. Okay, fine. The power. I do have two jumps left, so I can take um this jump and fight, then exit. Okay, I thought the rock might have trouble there, but um, the guy that was actually going to fight him just actually died pretty easily. Very big missile again. I control the NGO once I can actually depower the hacking, it'll actually probably kill him. Because both mantises will move in there to just slaughter him. And the weapons repair should be higher priority than the auction repair until they're actually at below 25% oxygen. So mind control the weapons guy now, this guy should actually run back over there. I didn't actually have to take out the auction at all. Don't need fuel. I do need drum parts, but don't don't need fuel. So slug nebula. Get an auction buffer now. I really actually need to find a store for um drum parts though. I'm getting very low on those right now. And my weapons are gonna actually kinda suck if I don't have them. Yeah, through shield ship, I need to think I need to use those here. They're not really actually that able to damage me here, but they can damage me if they get lucky. Okay, this one fine. Twenty five scrap, thirteen more in repair drone, and no drone parts. Definitely being a problem. No, I've never heard of you, Captain Knights. Engage in a duel of the mind. I get a, th a free burst under Mark One, which is actually a pretty good find. 
I'm going to actually plan on getting that up as soon as possible, which is four scrap away. The Duel of the Mind. <laughs> it's one of the most ridiculous and actually um, kind of funniest um, dialogue boxes in the game, though, or one of the most um, funniest blue options, at least. It is not just a duel, it's the Duel of the Mind. Anyway, three shield ship again. I can take damage on this fight again, unfortunately, so I'm um, gonna have to actually shoot the weapons. I'm not sure that these guys can actually hurt each other enough to actually kill them here. Yes, the human's not actually within kill range here. If I shoot them again right now, they'll actually um, move the slug out of there. Okay, 38 scrap and got them there. Good. That was very close, though. Iron Storm, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'll actually depower the mind control also once it's actually recharged. I'll just actually depower the um acting for right now. The two shields I'm actually safe for the moment. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, no more auction. You nice to get a fire in there. Of course, now the fire is not quite so nice because it could destroy the ship. I don't think it will, but it could. Alright, so the fire actually spread into the weapons room there. I'm looking forward to playing Darkest Dungeon 2. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that game for um, actually a couple years now, so... Um, yeah, I'm really actually looking forward to it. I hear it's coming out on Tuesday. So that's um that's kind of the plan for Tuesday then just play that. I might actually just take a couple days um just to do that instead of actually doing FDL for a couple days then. Alright, so main cabin guy's dead. I don't think there was actually fire in any of those rooms there. But I think they're just dying here. Alright, 35 scrap. Nice. Yeah, I had actually been going to... I had actually been going to start another um, run of Darkest Dungeon 1. But then, um... Like, I was going to actually start another run of Darkest Dungeon 1 on, um... Like, Tuesday a couple days ago. But then, um, I actually thought, huh, I wonder when Darkest Dungeon 2 is coming out. Looked that up and actually found out it was coming out actually next Tuesday. Yeah, I could definitely do a um, Halloween lead-up event, too. And Darkest Dungeon is a fairly good um, game for that. Okay, so I'm going to take one more jump and take the store. I need to take the store because I need drone parts. Though less now that I actually have the um, weapons.
But I still do really well. I actually want to be able to use um, more stuff, though. When is Halloween? October 31st. So, um... Not not tomorrow, but a um, week from Sunday. I doing anything for Halloween? Um, some friends and I had very briefly talked about actually um, doing maybe costume like. My my friends and like my brother and my friends and I actually have a um, dark, uh, Dungeons and Dragons setting uh, or um, session scheduled for um, next Friday. So we had actually talked about maybe doing a um, Halloween themed one there though, like doing costumes for that. But um, I don't actually have any plans for that though. So um, not really. I tend not to do too much for holidays, though. Thirty scrap, three fuel, no drone parts. So, still actually want to buy some drone parts here. There's a fire beam. Oh ho ho ho! Yeah, now I have a fire beam. I'm gonna actually probably want to actually hit the other store though, because I still need drone parts. Reduction, that's not too bad. So that's a fire bomb. This event um always has a forced fire weapon. And since that's not a fire weapon, that's that's the only other weapon they have. Yeah, definitely fire bomb here. The weapons are on fire here. Unfortunately, I can't disrupt their um, ability to actually fight fires with mind control this time. Because they're all slugs. I kind of screwed up there. I was trying to actually fire three shots with the lasers, but it's kind of hard to do. So instead I fired two and then didn't fire the third one. But having hacking and mind control both to support a fire beam is pretty powerful. Though if I don't actually get drone parts, I won't actually have the um, hacking anymore. So hopefully I actually get more drone parts than I have. Wait, you scrapped a drone part pack. Nice. I do have actually two more jumps before the store there. I'm gonna plan on taking those. Looks like I'm probably diving the sector though. Okay, this one down first. That's always good. I had hoped to dodge at least one shot there, but didn't. Yeah, I've got to send these guys a message. Message involving blazing infernos and all of their loved ones. I'm sure it's nothing important. There's a store, then I'll probably take that jump over there, then jump over here, then exit. So, non-ship iron storm up there. So, 17, 17 power bars, though. 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's you just grabbing a Turzan board. That's not too bad. Got some scrap from this and didn't really have to actually do anything for it, so it's actually pretty good. Okay, missed some shots. That's not good. All right, got the missile down. He's not going to be able to accomplish too much there, so this should already be basically lethal. Yep, yeah, they die. We need to actually get the ends of ones here. Makes the dive a little safer. I should be fine with this though. The ones actually aren't really that bad here. Yeah, I'll be able to kill the ship. Next sector. Log controlled is all controlled. I'm actually going to take this log controlled. don't need too much at the moment. I just don't really have enough scrap to buy anything but drone parts there. Alright, scanners. Nice. Okay, so a bunch of stuff is on fire. Maze down, most other people are low in health. Yeah, this will be fine. Okay, thirty six scrap, that's okay. Hit the store now. I still don't actually think I do. They have that rock there. I think I actually do hack the weapons though. Yeah, a lot of the fire beam is just being patient though. But you can't always really do. Mm -hmm. 
Dang, got the hack too late. Yeah, when you have enough other weapons to get through shields, um, hacking weapons can be very, very important here. You get a lot more time to actually just take things down. And for this run, it's actually a little bit borderline for me, though. I'm still actually getting, um, I'm still taking some missile hits. This is going pretty well. Fire me up there so we can't actually fight that fire. 46 scrap, one drone part, and another drone part, and 21 more scrap. Nice. So go for the shield flip now. I only actually need two shields for this fight, though. Didn't actually get the Columbia down. Need to do that here. I'm mind control them once they're actually both in here. But he should actually, um, I think it will actually run to the Clone Bay. I don't think it's on fire. It might be, though. But I don't think it's on fire here. Okay, it's not on fire. Or it is on fire, I mean. In any case, he's dead. 20 scrap and, um, Michael. Nice. Gonna put him on shield so he's mind control proof there. I could save scrap for the store, and I think I do that. I do want more power for my shields, but, um, I want to save scrap for the store. I'm going to let the Bursiter one fire, then actually hack them. Get those two weapons desynchronized more. Or at least get them separated for the first volley here. And didn't kill things. Crap. They've got a repair drone, which isn't great for me. Yeah, really not liking that repair drone too much. Their guys are mostly dying, though. Yeah, they're having a bad time now. Where's the more scrap? Um, take one more. Take one more jump and hit the store. And you, I should be fine with just suffocating these guys to death. And now I'm safe, though. And they should just keep burning until they can't burn anymore. I was actually close to losing that guy than I thought it would. Hmm. 
Piece of crap. Um, I'm actually still going to take more stones for the store. Might be able to afford cloaking there. Double missile is bad. I'm going to actually um, just be killing the ship, I think. Yeah, really, really don't like the double missiles. Both of those are down now, though. That's pretty good. Nice fire, but they still have a clone bay. Alright, 39 more scrap. One more something to the store now. Yeah, so I can afford cloaking now. Um, I can't afford many drone parts with that, though. Reduction, mind control. I should actually probably hack these guys, though. Shields are going down pretty soon. Columbia's on fire, Columbia's down. Good. There's some scrap and I got a drone part pack. So hit the store now. I do need to buy some drone parts here, but I can actually afford cloaking with this too. There's no cloaking here though. Second fire beam, I don't think it's something I take. Now they have backup battery, that should be good too though. I actually need to go for um No, I'm not gonna. Well, no, I'll actually go for end stuff now. Yeah. I'm gonna take the exit beacon then up here, then just actually plan on diving here. I can take a lot of extra jumps up here. 19 scrap and a fire beam just floating in space. I bought a second fire beam. Would have actually had three of them. No slog nog, then I can actually rescue slog nog. That is a mind control proof doors guide now. So attack the mantis ship here. Everything's on fire already. And I'm not going to set the whole universe on fire. Just the just the galaxy. Yeah, I'll definitely get censored if I get a chance now. I don't think I've actually seen censors yet, though. 
as far as systems go at all. Alright, so finish them off. 41 scrap, 22 more in distraction buoys. Nice. One more jump and dive. I get sensors on the slug ship so you can so you guys can actually tell where fires are burning. It also helps me actually tell where fires are burning a little better, but um I mostly don't really care too much. Okay, please stop hitting me with everything. There we go. Should be fine now. Not really getting very good fires inside the shield room, though. Anyway. That was fine. I actually switched to the um, three wa um, laser weapons for the um, dive, though. I should be able to get out before the internship batteries fire, or too many of their weapons, too. Manda's homeworld, so that's a pretty good place to go for um, fire kills. I'll take this. Why did I get a delay? Because I have the um, distraction buoys that I picked up from the um, dumb a couple turns ago. Hey, Rogue Luke. Yeah, so it's an augment that just gives, just gives me fleet delay. Does it work every sector? Yes. Okay, so I apparently need more shots for this. I probably should have hacked the shields there. Yeah, I guess it doesn't work in Sector 8, but it works in every other sector. Alright, so I don't think there's fire inside the medbay right now. Forty-eight scrap, two one drum part back, and twenty-three more in a Howard beam. Nice. Uh, I think they actually might put that on my bar. Actually, a mind control up to actually disrupt um repairs more. Yeah, get weapons with more time and actually swap a burst litter for the halberd. Not gonna take the sun. Definitely taking that trade though. I need drum parts. Need a destination, I can scrap in a quest. I can go up to that. That should be good. Fire beam's not very useful in these ships, though. Nice dodge. Ah, oh, Firebeam actually took down the weapons by one. Nice. Fire my ship, I guess there could be one someplace. Yep, there it is. Yeah, that that's dealt with. Good enough.
I think I actually hacked too early there. Whoops. Crap. Actually, not be killing these guys when they have a big missile there. Yeah, miss anyway. It's fine. Everything is fine. Ah, uh, Luke, thank you for follow. Yeah, this should be good. Yeah, he has no place else to go. The weapons room is the only place that's not on fire at present. Would like to see a store in here, but it's going to be hard to do. Yeah, there aren't really actually that many stores inside Mantis Sectors. Wait for scrap into personal drone. Nice. Back the ship. Hey, Toast. Missile didn't go down. Dang. Okay, now it's down. It did miss, though. How goes the runs? Uh, the first run of the day was very, very frustrating. Went very, very poorly. But um, since then, it's actually been going pretty well. I guess this is only the third run of the day, though. So, um, one really, really, really bad run. One, um, one pretty good run. And then this one, which is also being actually quite good. Yeah, pretty much everyone hates missiles in this game. They just don't really work for you, and they work very well for the enemies. They're pretty unbalanced. All right, so this quest might be a um, might be a store, I think. It is a store. Good. Yeah. So sell the um, sell the chain laser and the personal drone. Can I actually hold on to the extra burst laser one in case I actually do run into drone parts here? By the cloaking, by the sensors, by the drum parts, and repair. Cloaking basically wins me the run, though, so this should be fine. Should have cloaked that. Whoops, wasn't paying attention. They're not scrap and nothing else. Okay, so sensors up. Alright, so here's Kazakh. I had been thinking about actually getting Sensors 3 and actually, um, Columbia Level 2 if I hadn't actually seen Kazakh right here. But uh, then I found Kazakh right here. Anyway, everything's on fire. I was in the halberd. Yeah, I was trying to strike that guy down with a halberd and just use a fire beam instead. Alright, 53 scrap. 
need hacking it by the end of the sector, but I can probably just go one, two, three, four. Dive again. I'll get power now for my engines then. On the ship's data stores, 19 scrap, and that's not bad. A lot of guys in my ship right there. That should be okay, though. I think I do win this now. Human died, but that's okay. You did? Shouldn't be. Maybe I maybe I did mute myself. I think maybe I actually muted myself to actually um pour myself another glass of water and just um forgot to unmute myself afterwards. That could be. Sorry about that. Alright, missile went down, so that should be good. Got hit by that. I really thought those weapons would go down faster than that. Okay, anyway, this guy should die pretty fast now. Fifty four scrap and Ryan, okay. Ryan is not super useful here though. Yeah, cloaking him next. I do need repairs pretty soon, too. But since fire beams, like, neither fire beams nor halberds actually um, shorten cloak durations, so I don't really actually need to worry about um, 
don't need my cloak duration at all here. Yeah, you don't see double fire beam runs very often. And at this point, I'm thinking that if I do actually... If I get the opportunity to pick up a third fire beam again, I'll actually probably take it. Just for kicks. Because if double fire beam is ridiculous, triple fire beam's gotta be crazy. Is fire being good against a flagship? It's not bad. I'll be able to kill him with what I have here. I take damage there. Crap. Yeah, so um, if you have enough fire being, like if you can cause enough fires, you can just kind of overwhelm them with that. And um, I have enough fires ability. <laughs> yeah, mostly the um, mostly the hardest part about this game is actually getting your first wins, but um. Yeah, it's kind of actually, it's kind of actually hard to learn a new style like the Mantis ship is, though. Like the Mantis ships are um, just very different from the other setups. Because teleport is quite different from um, other things, from the gunship setups you have before. I'm gonna actually go for cloaking up again. First normal one with Zildan Beam recently? Nice. Don't take drone parts, or don't don't sell drone parts there. We won't actually keep those. No surrender to Prudus Labors here. That's okay. These guys aren't really that bad, though they do have the um, repair drone, which is kind of a pain. The Mantis should be dying here. Maybe you should have mind controlled the um, Edgy instead. He is kind of more important. Now he burns to death. I will take the Mantis here, I think. And I'll drop Ryan. Actually, I guess Zen Zen's actually a little worse. I'll drop Zen Zen instead. Okay, missile's down. And the burst leader plus halberd should just kill him here. 41 scrap, so sun is not really something I want to hit, though. But I get forced into it now. I'll get backup battery up here, and actually a um, clone bay and piling buffers, too. Backup battery gives me more power to spend. A lot of iron damage over there. I'm still going to try for a fire kill on this ship, but um, it gets kind of difficult with this little flare in the background. Didn't mind control the right guy. Crap.
Six fuel, 64 scrap. Nice. Did someone replace me with a pyromaniac? Uh, no. I don't, I don't know why that would actually be a question. This behavior is not really actually that far outside the nor um, norm for me. Anyway, I'm really hoping to find a store before I die, though. Because I'm actually um, kind of running low in hole right now. I could just go to the exit beacon and just actually jump out of here, though. If things really start to go wrong. They have pretty much only engine or pretty much only mantises over there. Pretty good. Okay, no damage there. That was good. And with the NG dead, they definitely die pretty quickly. Six of scrap and nothing else. Okay. Store up there. I'll grab that for repairs. I think I'll sell the extra burst to Mark 1. By the halberd, or by the flak. Because after phase one of the flagship fight, I'll be swapping to the halberd burst laser um flak combo now. I should actually switch to the um flak instead of the burst laser there. Can I actually get mind control again? Makes that last longer. I'll take more drone parts. Still need those. I don't really need fuel anymore for the end of Sector 7 now. I don't think they'll be able to send another boarding drone over my way. Fifty scraps, so exit beacon. Then um, I can probably actually take these jumps over here too. Double missiles, I'm not very fond of. And they have that rock, which is also kind of bad. Okay, big missile went down now. That should be fine. I was hoping the little missile would go down again before I could fire again, too. No luck with that this time, though. So he's not going to be able to repair the auction here because um, I can just level three mind control him to death. And with all the fire beams I have here, I can kind of set him, stop him from actually putting out even a single fire. 
65 scrap and 27, and got some drone parts back from that too. I can only actually take one of these gems over here. I think I'll still actually take one of them though. I'm gonna go for Columbia and Doors upgrades here. There's Grinch Slavers. That's actually a pretty dangerous looking ship. That's a lot of dangerous weapons there. It shouldn't make too much difference, though. Yeah, they lost another weapons point before they could fire the weapons here. So, yeah, they die very easily. Because you want scrap and nothing else. So we'll get a shield buffer here, too. No teleporter here, but that's probably fine. It does mean their guys are going to actually stay on their side, though. Which makes it slightly hard for me to kill them with this. I did take a hit there, but I think it's worth it for the points. It's not really worth it for the points, but it's not going to matter here. This is going to be very, very, very easy win this time. I want a repair station for um, repairs and drone parts, though. I'd actually like to see a store so we can actually hopefully... Um, well, hopefully just actually find a third fire beam, honestly. That's mostly just a meme, but it would be funny to have. Yeah, so um, taking that extra battery shot um, did technically only reduce my chance to win, honestly. But not by a significant amount. So, like, it it was, um, objectively speaking, it was the wrong choice, but um, because there was the chance that I would not find a um, repair station, but I was going to find a repair station. It, it wasn't going to matter. Yeah, if I if I felt that I had to be really 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 careful about winning there though, it wouldn't actually um it wouldn't actually be the right choice to take that. Dang it, don't have the entire ship on fire there. That one tile right there is taunting me. Let me go for a weapon buffer now. That's a big missile. Will, will this be the last trip of the day? I think I have time for one more after this. Alright, so kill both borders. Missile's down now. 
And the mind control guy inside the fire should actually just slaughter these guys. Okay, that should be fine. Doesn't send scrap, and here's a store. Show me a fire beam. Free nutter. That's also good enough, I think. Uh, so I think I actually sell the Bursiter one for that. I can win without it. This is going to be hilarious. All right, nothing here, unfortunately, so repair station, then um, flagship fight, though. My cloak is longer than theirs. And as long as I deal at least one damage to the um, missile room here before I can fire, um, I can actually cloak again before I can fire here. Yeah, if I had enough weapon slots to use both fire beams with that, I could actually do that, but I don't have enough um, weapon slots for that. Anyway, that was good. I actually don't want to kill off the last guy, though. Then again, I guess the flash of... I guess phases 2 and 3 can't actually fight fires if I actually, um... had actually killed that last guy. It's not going to make any difference. I actually try getting around to that repair station up there. Alright, so they go down pretty quickly here, though. Whoops, that wasn't the right beam. Six six scrap and they repaired my hole. The repair station, then dive, then base. Get the ends up again here because I can. Yeah, that should be fine. Crap, took damage there.
I thought that I'd probably easily dodge enough shots there, but apparently I didn't. I got hit through cloaking there. Crap. What was that trick with the hacking drone? Um, that is known as the hacking trick. Um, by depowering it at the right time, um, I can make the defense drone just actually not um, fire. Or not actually hit um, my drone down. So the defense drone, defense drones, um, including anti drones, will actually lead their shots, firing where the um, incoming incoming um, projectile or drone is going to be, rather than where it is. And if you depower it right as it fires, it will actually just um, fire where it would have been if the drone didn't actually stop. Yes, it is very very broken. It is basically um, the main reason why. Um, the main reason why hacking is as grossly overpowered as it is, it's actually still overpowered if you don't use that, but it's just, yeah, it's very, very, very broken. But so practically speaking, it means that you can just actually ignore shield or ignore um, defense drones, not shields. Yeah, so you just have to actually um, depower, the, like just pause just as the um, drone is about to fire or just as the enemy drones um, fires and then just actually depower your hacking. Obviously, I can't do that with um, playing no pause, but um, if you just depower and repower the right cadence, it also works. So I'm using the fire beam at first here, though, because it actually um, deals better damage against Zolden Shield than the um, black does if you don't have to wait for its charge time. Okay, got the got the missile down. This should be fine now. And with their um shields on fire, they should die pretty quickly here. But yeah, so that's gonna be quite a high scoring run, I think, though, because that one was um. I didn't really actually feel like I had that much free stuff on that run, and I was just swimming in scrap. I had everything I needed and more. Yeah, double fire beam was pretty fun though. Yeah, so that was actually that was just an outrageously strong run though. Incredibly, incredibly powerful. Yeah, so I'm going to be surprised by a score over um or below six thousand there. Like, I'm going to be very surprised by a score below 6,000 there. I'm going to actually guess below 6,000 because, um, price is right rules, but yeah, I'm going to guess actually 59, 59, 40, 43. Did I even have a four shield? No, I didn't have power for it. Like, I had, I had level six shields, um, level six engines with backup battery on that, then level three hacking, cloaking, and mind control, and, um, level, si level seven weapons then. But I actually need more power, like I need more Zoltans in order to actually get enough power to actually run everything. Yeah, like that was just, that was just an outrageously strong run though. Getting the first fire beam was actually pretty good, getting the second one was hilarious though. I could have easily won the run with the, without the second fire beam though. But I actually, did I actually encounter any auto ships on, after I got the second fire beam? I don't think I did. Yeah, I basically encountered no auto ships that run, so I was basically getting just all bio kills all the time. So yeah, that was just that was just an awesome run though. 
Anyway, so I think I have time for one more run today, though. So we'll be seeing those scores, seeing the shifts, then I'll, then I'll take a short break and come back to do one more, though. So, score for this one, though, is going to be a total of 7201. Yeah, that's, um, <laughs> not surprising. Yeah, really, really not that surprising. Obviously, that's the ship best by over 100 points. So, um, who took it this time? So, who guessed highest? Uh, 6965. I think, I think Fluffy Tail, tail takes this time with, um, 6965. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. 60 ships defeated is extremely, extremely high. I expect 43 or 44. So, um, almost half again as much as I usually expect. 107 Mega Sport, also extremely high. I expect 96 or 97. 2531 scratch related, also extremely, extremely high. I expect like 17 to 1800. So, yes, that is an extremely, extremely, extremely high score. Yes, that was the second top score ever. Yeah, it actually beats out the rare April laser by quite a bit, too. So, yeah, that was just. Yeah, that was. That was a very, very high score. Very, very, very strong run. And how is that maxed out with 2,500? Um, I just actually bought a, a lot of weapons and stuff like that, I think. So I don't think I was actually the most efficient to use my scrap. Also, I had to actually spend quite a bit of scrap on repairs, and some. Um, I wasn't really killing things in the most efficient ways. Anyway, um, yeah, that was a fun run to play, though. So NGB will be next, though. Um, yeah, that should be good stuff, though. Yeah, so that was just an extremely, extremely fun run, though. So um, I'm going to take you short breaks for the next run, though. So um, this will probably be the last run of the day unless I die, like, on the first two jumps. But uh, yeah, so taking a short break now, though. So I'll be right back after this, though. And excuse me, please, though.